Now, listen, I'm about to talk about something and y'all need to hear this message, all right? Because there's this guy going around and there's people going around on social media saying things like God no longer speaks to, to you in dreams. He no longer speaks to you through words of prophecy. And these people are speaking against the works of the Holy Spirit. It's complete blasphemy and they're deceiving themselves and they're also deceiving you. And the enemy loves people like this, all right? And they're using scripture to so-called back up what they say. But understand, the devil himself used scriptures against Jesus. So these people are using scriptures to so-called back up what they say, but they're using the scriptures out of context. So they talk a lot and they make themselves sound like they're intelligent. But if you have true discernment and you know the word of God and you know the spirit of God, which is the spirit of truth, you'll be able to discern. You'll be able to tell how everything that they say is twisted and perverted and manipulated. And, and everybody's going to ask me, oh, who is it? Expose them. No, listen, I'm not going to sit here and call out names and I'm not all big into that exposing stuff and tearing down other people's ministries. But. This topic needs to be talked about and clarified. So what he did, he used the scripture in Jeremiah 29 verses 8. But I'm going to give it to you in context so you understand. Jeremiah 29 verses 8, it says, Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. All right. So this makes it sound like, oh, well, so so this is God saying that he no longer speaks in dreams and visions or through his prophets. That's not what this is saying. All right. Now, now watch. Just keep listening. Verse 10 says, this is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my promise to bring you back to this place. All right. So this is talking about how God was sending the uh, people of Jerusalem that didn't listen to his word. He was sending them into captivity. But after the 70 years was completed. He was going to bring them back into freedom. All right. Now check this out. God says in uh, verse 15, you may say the Lord has raised up for us prophets in Babylon. But this is what the Lord says about the king who sits on David's throne. So God was talking about how he's going to bring famine and he's going to bring the people of Jerusalem, the people that did not listen. He's going to bring them into captivity. Now, when it says do not listen to the prophets and diviners among you who deceive you, he's talking about the prophets and diviners that were under the authority of Babylon. And who was the king of Babylon? King Nebuchadnezzar. So he's talking about the prophets and diviners that were under the authority of King Nebuchadnezzar. He was saying, don't listen to them. Why is that? Because King Nebuchadnezzar, he's demonic. He was not of God. He was of the devil. Now, later on in that same chapter, watch this. In verse 19, God goes on to say, for they have not listened to my words, declares the Lord. Words that I sent to them again and again by my servants, the prophets. Words that I sent to them again and again by my servants, the prophets. So back up in verse eight, he was talking about the prophets and diviners that he did not send. This did not mean that God does not have true prophets as well. All right. We know even today we're not supposed to listen to dreams from false prophets and from people that are in divination from diviners, people like sidekicks, mediums. Why? Because they're operating in a different source that is not the Holy Spirit. They're operating in a demonic spirit. So, yes, I'll tell you today, watch and be careful who you take a word of prophecy from. Be careful who you listen, uh, whose dreams you listen to, or be careful who you allow to interpret your dreams. If you're going to allow somebody to give you a word of prophecy and uh, you're going to allow somebody to interpret your dreams, make sure that they are a real prophet of God. Make sure that they are a real man or woman of God. Do not listen to the diviners, the psychics, the mediums. All right. But this does not mean that God does not speak through dreams and through visions. And this does not mean that he does not still speak through words of prophecy. See, people need to understand the scriptures within its context. The Bible even says in Second Chronicles chapter 20, verses 20, believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. And what does it say after that? It says, believe his prophets so shall ye prosper. God is telling you in scripture, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. God is saying, believe the words of the prophets. All right, and it says in Acts chapter two, verses 17, it says, in the last day, God says, I will pour out your, my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood. So what this guy said was, is oh, has, has the sun turned black yet? Has the sun turned to um? Has the sun turned to darkness? That means he hasn't poured out his spirit yet. First of all, that's not what that means, all right. And second of all, if you have any revelation and any bit of awareness of what's going on in the world, God is already pouring out his spirit on people. God is already giving dreams and visions. God is already he's still giving words of prophecy that are still continuing to come to pass. 
How many people do we hear all over the world having dreams of being brought down in hell, having dreams of, of God, of Jesus Christ revealing himself to them so that they would repent and so that they could now warn other people and see me myself. I'm not even just going off of that. Me myself, I get words of prophecy through the prophets. I get my own dreams and visions. God speaks to me through dreams. God speaks to me through visions. So to listen to somebody like this, tell you guys not to listen to your dreams and visions. It's not only, not only is it blasphemy to say that God no longer speaks through dreams and visions. It's absolutely dangerous to listen to teachings like this because they have physical scriptures, but no spirit of revelation. They have the physical text, but they do not have truth in them. God speaks to me through dreams and through visions. Every time that God gave me a warning in one of my dreams and I didn't listen, guess what? I paid the price for it and I learned my lesson. Every time one of my prophets or my apostles gave me a word and I didn't listen to it, guess what? I paid the price for it and I learned my lesson. The Bible says, believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Amen. So this is the thing. And I tell you guys this all the time. There are so many people in these last days that have hundreds of thousands of followers and they're teaching false doctrine. They're blaspheming the works of the Holy Spirit. Second Peter chapter two, the Bible says these people uh, blaspheme what they do not understand. So you'll notice there are so many teachers out there and they have the physical text, but they don't have any uh, supernatural encounters. They haven't actually experienced God supernaturally and they blaspheme what they do not understand. Amen. They blaspheme what they do not understand. So if you're saying that God no longer speaks in dreams and visions, if you're saying that the works of the Holy Spirit are dead, basically you're insinuating that we serve a God of the past, not a God of the present. Basically what you're insinuating is we serve a God that is dead, not alive. Basically you're insinuating that we no longer serve a God that is still moving to this day when in fact the Bible says greater works than these shall they do, meaning God is moving now more than he ever has. Greater works than these shall they do. More words of prophecy come into pass. They will, they, we will have more dreams and visions. We will have more casting out devils. More people getting healed from sickness. More raising the dead. There will be more signs, wonders, and miracles. So for you to sit there and say that God no longer speaks through dreams and visions is absolute blasphemy. And you're leading these people astray. And another thing that baffles me is that these people are saying that God does not speak outside of his word. All right. Now. I'm going to say this and it's going to be controversial, but I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to explain to you something. Yes, God does speak outside of his word. Now, see, you're going to have Christians on here. They're like, oh, my gosh, did you hear what he just said? He said that God will speak to you in ways that go against his word. No, that's not what I said. I want you all to understand what I'm saying here. OK, now, I don't mean that God will give you words that don't align with his word. But let me give you an example. All right, if God speaks to you through a prophet or he speaks to you in a dream and a vision and he gives you a warning or if God speaks to you and says, hey, this business opportunity, this is for you. I want you to take this. Or if God speaks to you and says, hey, this person right here, this opportunity, it's not from me. Don't take it. This person right here, they're not from me. Don't affiliate with that person. Do you actually think that there's going to be a scripture in the Bible that specifically says word for word? Do not take this opportunity. It is not from me or do not affiliate with this person. They are not from me. Like, come on. Like, are we thinking logically here? I need y'all to open your minds. I need y'all to expand your minds. All right. To say that God does not speak outside of his word is complete blasphemy. How do you think that people uh, that prophesy things that come to pass? How do you think God warns people of things in their dreams? All right. So this is the problem with having the physical text without the spirit of revelation. So these people, they'll they'll use scripture to so-called back up what they say, but understand the devil himself used the word against the word. He used the scriptures against Jesus himself. All right, so you can have the physical text, understand something I've encountered and I've met atheists that read the Bible from cover to cover, but I gave them revelation that they still didn't believe and they said it's not even biblical, that's not even in the Bible, why? Because they don't have the spirit of revelation. So I could even go as far as to say, if you have the physical text, but you don't have the spirit of truth, you have nothing at all. Why is that? Because Jesus even said himself, and I'm glad there's scripture to back this up. Jesus said, people look to the scriptures thinking in them they will find life, but the scriptures only testify of me. Amen. So the physical text itself is not even the complete word. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. And the word was made flesh. Jesus Christ is the word. 